It is a pathetic reality that we have pastors who are more concerned about their hair than they are prayer. They're more concerned about what people think of them than giving the full truths to their congregations. And it's because of this that the United States has continued to decline at a rampant pace. Because pastors, many pastors, not all pastors by any means, but many pastors, especially in the United States, they're more concerned about fulfilling their lusts and their wants at the expense of giving people only half-truths and tingling their ears and not giving them the entire truths to where that the truth that has been presented is a saving truth. Rather, it's a partial truth, and it's one side of the coin that anyone can preach. Even a secularist could preach uh, what most of these pastors preach. And, and the reason is because they are more concerned about their reputation than they are about helping to save the souls in their congregations from damnation. And when this is the case, this is when we see Satan have many puppets on the pulpits. He has many uh, people that he's pulling the strings with, and he's preaching prosperity gospel, he's preaching the self gospel, he's preaching half truth gospels, he's preaching partial gospels, watered down gospels, uh, gospels where you can pick and choose what you want, and it's all about entertainment rather than salvation. And that is the most dangerous thing is when pastors seek to have services where to make their congregations feel good and to entertain them and to have all the latest technology. Because to have all the latest technology is idolatry. If that is the true mindset and it is for entertaining and entertainment purposes, then those who are going in that way and seek to feed their congregations through the latest new trend are those who are diverting from the Word of God. Because this book right here, this doesn't change over time. It is uh, immutable, just as God is immutable. It's unchanging over time, and it doesn't matter what culture has to say about certain sins, about certain viewpoints of Scripture. It doesn't matter what they say, because we know the world is going to hell. We know the world does not seek the things of God. The world is full of the flesh and it is contrary to God and it constantly seeks to bring God's word down to their level to conform it to their own ideology rather than being willing to be convicted and rebuked by God's word as the highest uh, substantiation, as the highest uh, peak um, realm and then conforming their desires to the word of God. Because anyone who brings God's word down to them is are those who really don't desire to seek truth and are going to hear the words, I never knew you, depart from me. But those who desire to conform themselves to the word of God by what the word of God says, they will have the true faith and the genuine faith that is going to lead them into the heavenly gates to live with the living, almighty, omniscient, omnipotent God. And so we need to be willing to notice and say, listen, I don't want to just listen to a pastor because he's good looking or because he dresses cool or because he's keeping up with trends and the times and, and because the church has the latest entertainment. Because the reality is when the time comes when persecution comes in the United States and there has to be hidden churches at people's home, uh, how many people are then going to continue in the faith? Not many, because many are going to have a rocky faith because they were not standing on the word of God and the word of truth, and they just wanted to be entertained just as they go in and out of a movie to be entertained, and then they forget about it uh, hours later. And it's those who, when the persecution comes, especially in the United States, they will give up their faith because they are too afraid. They're too afraid to lose their lives and their passion, the passions and their, their possessions of this life. But it's those who have a genuine faith. They're going to say, you know what? I'm sensing something here like I'm not getting fed the full truth. And truth seekers will be led by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will convict them and speak to them and say, you need to get out of this church. This church is not preaching my full truth. And when we heed the call, we will be more readily prepared for when the times of persecution come to go to those churches and know that it's about God. It's all about God. I don't need a TV screen. I don't need some 3D animation. I don't need a, a comic as my pastor, I just need the truth and I need brothers who can, where we can share each other's burdens and pray for each other and encourage each other and build each other up in the knowledge and truth of God's word. So anyone who is a pastor 
uh, who's just going through the motions and seeing it as a profession rather than a passion should be stripped from their title. Uh, they're more so coaches, life coaches. If anything, they're not pastors at all. And they're more concerned about themselves and what they can get from their position rather than giving God's word and its entire truth and feeding their congregations. So may we ask the Holy Spirit for discernment and wisdom, pressing on and pressing forward. And may he give us the discernment and the boldness and the courage to call out these false gospels and these false preachers who are more concerned about themselves than they are the souls of others.